Seriously? All right, so how often have you been working along, everything's going great, and then all of a sudden your mouse cuts out, your keyboard quits working? So in this video, I'm gonna go over all the troubleshooting steps for a wireless keyboard and mouse when one or both of them stop working on you. I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleep channel. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure and like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the video. Let's check it out. So I'll be covering different brands and versions of wireless keyboard and mice. They come in all different flavors. You'll get them for Bluetooth. You'll get them for regular wireless and there's some other varieties. So I'll try to just cover the basics of all the above. Troubleshooting step number one. First off, most devices will have a little switch on the back of the bottom of the unit. So check the switch, make sure it's on. So the mouse on the very bottom, there's a switch. Make sure that's in the on position. Your keyboard, there is also a switch. This goes for both Bluetooth and wireless as well. Check those switches. Then let's move on to step two if that doesn't correct the issue. All right, so step two, wireless keyboard mouse still isn't working, one or both of them. What you can do is take the dongle, which is right here. So this little part right there, you can identify it. A lot of times it'll say Logitech or the brand of the mouse and keyboard right on the top, have a little symbol right there. Move that to another USB slot directly on your computer. If you're using a laptop instead of the docking station, move it right to the side of your laptop, plug it directly in, and then try it, see if that resolves it. You'll get a sound there when the uh, Windows recognizes that that's been moved. And try your keyboard and mouse again. See if you get anything. Keyboard's working. Mouse still not working. Okay, let's move on to step three. All right, so we're up to step three. If you haven't done this already, you should know how to do it. Restart your computer. I know every tech in the world will tell you that. Really important though. Let's reboot. You're going, okay, I can't restart my computer because my mouse and keyboard isn't working. So a cool little trick. What you want to do is take your power button, whether it's a laptop or a tower, just hold in that power button and slow count to 10, and I guarantee you it will shut down. So hold it in, count up to 10, and that will shut down your computer. It's a hard shutdown, so when it comes up, it may do its little repair scenario or something, or it may yell at you and say, hey, you didn't shut this down properly, whatever, that's fine, but it also might fix your problem. All right, step four, you wanna check those batteries. So go ahead and open up the mouse or the keyboard, whichever's having the problem or both of them. A lot of times, so I've got a couple of mice here so I can show you the difference. A lot of times the mouse will have the bottom will slide off. Set that down anywhere. You can pull out the little tab and then the batteries will come right out. Just like that. Get some new batteries, put them in there. And with this, you wanna make sure your batteries are put in the correct direction. So on the inside of the tab, a lot of times it'll tell you the direction to put batteries in, or it'll show you right on the inside here which direction those batteries go. If you can see that. Let me grab another mouse to show you. So on this variety of mouse, the whole top comes off like that. You got a little spring right here, comes out, and then you pop the batteries out that way. Most of the time they'll have a little green indicator light, but you don't always wanna trust that. You wanna make sure your batteries are good. On your keyboard, most keyboards will have a little flap on the back here. Now pull that down, pop it open, pop those batteries out, and put in some fresh batteries. If you don't have any lights on your keyboard, you're wondering, how do I know if my batteries are any good? Okay, that's a good question. So right up here, there's a link to my first video and I do a little battery test if you want to see how to test your batteries. It's really cool 
and I guarantee it works. So get those batteries replaced, fresh batteries in here will make all the difference. There you go. All right, so step five kind of goes with our last step, but you wanna make sure those batteries are placed in there correctly. You wouldn't believe how many times I've had someone call me and say, hey, my mouse isn't working or my keyboard's not working, and I'll go and check, and sure enough, they've got one battery in backwards or both of them in backwards, and they just feel silly. So, it, you know, it takes just a second. Make sure those batteries are in correct. It'll save you a whole lot of headache. So step six, now this is a really important one. If you've gotten this far and you still can't get your keyboard to work or your mouse to work, then you need to try this. So take the dongle out of your computer, take your keyboard and your mouse or whichever one's not working, go to another computer, whether it's a laptop or a workstation or whatever, plug that thing in, power it on, see if that keyboard and mouse is actually working on a different system. This is so important because it may just be a bad keyboard or a bad mouse or something. If there are two computers that that keyboard and mouse is not working on, chances are you need to toss that thing and buy a new one. So step seven, you might actually have to find some software that's gonna make your keyboard and mouse run, especially if this thing is like your Bluetooth variety or something. In other words, you're gonna have to go find an actual USB keyboard and mouse in order to get your drivers installed to get your new Bluetooth or wireless keyboard and mouse to work. So you're going to have to go to the manufacturer website to Logitech or whoever makes your wireless device, download the actual software for that model of keyboard and mouse, and then install that driver package, and then you should be all set. All right, so step number eight, if you're still having problems getting a wireless keyboard and mouse to work, check your distance. So if your keyboard and mouse are ways away from your computer, that can be a problem. Wireless does not like distance. I've seen that specifically in theater room setups and other gaming situations. If there's a fix for that, however, it is your USB extender. We've got one right here. This is a six foot extender. You put your dongle right here, you plug this into your computer, and you get this closer to wherever your gaming or your theater room is. Works like a charm, so no worries there. Okay, so step nine, say you've got things working, but the mouse seems a little sluggish or still having some problems. What you can do to fix that, take some canned air, take the mouse, blow out that laser eye right here. You can blow out the buttons too. Don't hesitate, blow out the keyboard. Fixes everything right up. Step 10 is our final step. You're gonna to wanna to grab a USB keyboard and mouse. We're gonna to need to go into device manager, plug in the dongle and see if anything shows up in there. I'll show you real quick. And we're also gonna look at pairing with the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. All right, so step 10, we just want to take a look in Device Manager here and see what is going on. So to do that, you've got to plug in a USB keyboard and mouse. You're going to want to right click on the Windows icon down here, or the Windows symbol. You're going to want to go to Device Manager. It's going to give you a little list here. You're going to want to expand out Human Interface Devices. Right here you can see we've got the Logitech USB input device. I'm gonna unplug that dongle and see if it disappears. That's what I would expect. Gonna go expand that out one more time. Okay, gonna plug that back in and see if the USB interface device reappears for Logitech, which I would expect it to reappear. That tells me that dongle is working. There it is. That's a good sign. That's for the 2.4 gigahertz Logitech keyboard and mouse set. You can also go into control panel. Again, you'll have to have your USB keyboard and mouse to do this if nothing else is working. Click on keyboard. Go to hardware. There's a keyboard section, there's a mouse section, but honestly, the device manager 
is going to be much more helpful just to see if those if the dongle is showing up or not okay let's take a look here i'm going to plug in bluetooth keyboard and mouse just so we can show you how that pairs all right so i've got an alpha elite keyboard and mouse right here these are bluetooth just going to very quickly show you in device manager how to set these up and where they appear and how to pair these if you're having trouble with Bluetooth mice and keyboards. So the dongle for these looks the same as the other. Just like that. And plug it in. Actually, I'm gonna open Device Manager before we plug it in, just so we can see what's going on here. Okay, plugging in the Alpha Elite. See what changes in device manager here. And again, turning on the Alpha Elite. Just like with the other stuff, you got a switch on the bottom or the back of these where you power them on. It looks like that automatically paired, at least the mouse did, which is a good sign. Just shows up as keyboard device right there. Oh, keyboard is working. Let's go to control panel. The bottom, if you just type in Bluetooth and other device settings, just click that. It shows up right in here. Mouse, keyboard, and pen. So it does give you the option to add Bluetooth and other device. It's interesting, it did not make me pair this at all. Anyway, that's the Alpha Elite keyboard right there. It's actually connected and working. And I didn't even have to pair it. I'm a little bit surprised. And the mouse is working too. But yeah, Device Manager can be a huge help when you run into trouble. So if these items do not show up in Device Manager, if you don't get anything under keyboard, and then that's a problem. Then that means either your USB port is not working or you need to move it to, um, say, a USB port on the back of your computer or on the front, like flip ports. Like sometimes the entire port panel will go dead. And that's also a good opportunity to move your dongle and your keyboard and mouse to an entirely different computer and just make sure you're not wasting your time with it. So one thing I should point out, there are different types of wireless mice and keyboards. There's what they call the Bluetooth versus the 2.4 gigahertz wireless keyboard and mice. If possible, I would steer clear of the Bluetooth just because you see a few more issues with those versus the 2.4 gigahertz version. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you today. Be sure and leave a comment. Let me know what finally resolved your keyboard and mouse wireless issues for you. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. Check out these other videos I've got going on. And I'll catch you guys later.